G'day guys and girls, just gonna do a little tech video on the Aquamist water methanol injection system that we've been testing out. We spent the day today um, trialing the system on a Nissan Patrol comp truck. This car's a TB42. Um, it's got like a TDA 5 style turbocharger on it, uh, non-intercooled. Customer chose to set this one up with no cooler because in previous setups, the car just gets completely covered in mud. Um, so all that intercooler is really effective while it is on the dyno and out on the road, put it under endurance or race conditions and by the time it completely fills up with mud, um, you might as well just take the cooler off and throw it in the bin. Um, not to mention the restraints of having a winch and bull bars and all that sort of stuff. So you know, for competition use, this system is really good and, and equally as good on the street. But we've integrated this system into the Haltech um so pretty much the Haltech is controlling it all with all the fail safes and so on so this car here we've tuned it basically without the intercooler um and then you know found the peak power without the cooler and then we've then come back through and then redone the whole tuning process again uh with the cooler um excuse my son he's banging away there but um, so basically I've got here, I've overlaid a run here with with the um, water methanol system running and without it. And if we come to the start, um, so pretty much at the start of the run, um, so I'll give you a rundown of what we've got on the top. So at the very top, the red graph is our ignition timing. Um, that's uh, no intercooler, as it says. Then the graph under the one underneath it, um, being so we'll get your finger there. That one there is that's with the water methanol, so that's timing without and with. Then there's the RPM, and then the same thing below it, which is the intake temperatures with water meth and without water meth. Um, so as you run through the graph, you can see the variation. So if we come to say, if we go to the middle of the run, um, so 71 degrees intake temps without the intercooler versus 45 degrees intake temps and that's a 20 that's a 2900 revs and then we've got 13 degrees of ignition timing versus seven degrees of ignition timing um go further down the scale once we start getting right at the very end um you know so around sort of 4000 revs we'll go there 4000 revs we've got 83 degrees c's um, without the intercooler and 39 degrees with the Aquamist water methanol injection. Um, 4100 revs, we've now got 17 degrees of timing versus 7 degrees of timing without the cooler. So we're talking a good 10 degrees of additional um, ignition timing, which, you know, that's that makes a big deal when you're, you know, talking exhaust temperatures too. Um, and then pretty much at the end of the run, I think we peak out at around 85, yeah, it's 85 degrees. Um, versus 39 degrees um, so this just goes to show you know how effective a good water methanol system does work i was always a skeptic of this stuff i used to think it was pretty shit and used to sort of think anyone saying it was good was full of shit but after you know testing it in my own cars customers cars and now that we've moved across to the aquamis system um i'm pretty confident this system's as good as it gets um my next car i want to try is like a big horsepower twin turbo v8 setup no intercooler with a direct port on it and, and see how far we can push it. But yeah, look, 50-50 water methanol is really effective. It works well. I know other guys out there are running bigger systems, but um, now 80% methanol. Um, but you know, look, 50-50 works really well. Um, and, and if you're in a competition scenario where you can't run an intercooler, um, well, this is living proof that it does work. Um, this car isn't making a lot of power. We, we didn't want to push this car too much. Um, it's only, we're only talking 170 kilowatts, which is not a lot in the scheme of things. Um, but, you know, like with a, a good system, you know, you can make a hell of a lot more. We've made over, you know, 550 kilowatts with a similar sort of system before. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just do a small video on the Aquamist and, and actually show some actual data just to back up, you know, what we're saying. Um, plenty of people out there say that it doesn't work and it is crap, but, you know, if someone says something's crap and they don't have data to prove it's crap, then they're really full of shit. So pretty much, yeah, th there's your raw data. Um, just for those who have forgotten, I'll just I'll run through it slowly and then we'll, we'll pretty much finish the video there. So
a big thanks to Orlando too for you know, reaching out to us and, and showing us this system because if he didn't show me this system, I'd be yeah, still using the other system, which has got nothing on this. So as we go through, as you can see, as the RPMs increase, um, obviously the air temps do too. So, very effective system. For those who want to know, this car has two jets on it. It's got one right in the compressor cover of the turbocharger, right on the discharge, or the outlet, sorry, um, at the hottest point, and then one directly in the middle of the intake pipe. And this has got like a, a 200 mil at the most intake pipe, so straight off the turbo into the throttle body. Um, so super responsive too. But anyway, guys, there's a video on the Aquamist uh, water methanol injection system. Um, check out our Facebook page, Instagram, and... Um, well, YouTube as well. Obviously, you're watching YouTube, but yeah, subscribe, click the little bell down there, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.